Here goes. Do you think they'll accept returns? <laughs> This is one of the newest cameras to be released, the Lumix S5 Mark II. And I thought it'd be fun to open up this baby and see what's on the inside. Don't ask why, I'm just, I'm just intrigued. But before you start taking apart your cameras, I need to make one thing very clear. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Do not try this at home. Handling or exposing any internal components inappropriately could result in the risk of fire, electric shock and product damage, which voids any warranty. Lumix, YouTube and I accept no responsibility for any loss or damage to camera equipment as well as any physical or emotional harm to humans after watching this video. If your camera does need repairing, it is recommended to send the unit to a qualified service personnel and dispose of any discharged batteries safely and appropriately. <sighs> Helpful, actually. Okay, I'm extremely nervous. <laughs> so some screws at the bottom. Gotta find the right screwdriver. Hopefully this one does it. God, these are tight in. Okay, it might be too big. Too big. It's a good start. Right, need a smaller screwdriver. <laughs> Bloody hell. Before I carry on and do those screws underneath, I think there might be some under the grip. I'm gonna use this thing, an opening tool. Here we go. Wow. It comes off nicely, actually. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Looks quite cool, actually. Not very good, these. Can't get a good grip. Even with a sock wrap around the handle, it's not giving me enough purchase. I need a different screwdriver. Wing Dad. Good morning. Yeah, are well, you all right? How's your curtains? All right, thanks. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to know if Dad's got a tool that I haven't got. Uh, he's in the bathroom. Let me yeah, I'll take you up to him. I was thinking the other day, I've been not a very good mother to you. What? Because, Don't say that. Because I haven't really asked you if you're all right on your own and getting on all right and things like that and coping with stuff. <laughs> I love it on my own, I do. <laughs> Don't ever think you're a bad mother. I bought these bloody screwdrivers, but they're not bloody small enough. And it only goes down to hashtag zero. Oh, look, I think mine are only zero. Not to worry then. Have a look on Screwfix website. Yeah, I'll have a look. Alright, see you again. Bye. Show Mummy and Daddy Holland some love in the comments below. But legends, bless them. There's a lot of things that I wouldn't have been able to do without them. And I owe everything to them. So thanks, Mum and Dad. So I checked to see if any of my local DIY stores had any in stock. I even tried Amazon, but I'd have to wait another day for delivery and I needed to make this video today. So I checked one more time and Toolstation had three in stock. So I reserved one for collection and went down as quick as I could. Right, got them. I just want to check before I go anywhere that it actually fits. Fingers crossed. So happy right now. Okay. Right, I can get on with it now. Oh yes, these are magnetic. Woohoo! Good little screwdriver, this. How does that come off? A couple of screwies under there, look. There's the eyepiece. Right, so we've got to find. I can't get it open. Fingerprints all over the sensor. Hey! Cool. First little bit of innards. Here we go. Ready. Wow. Wow. So many more screws inside. Viewfinder there. That's its own little separate thing. 
What even is it? Where does it go to? <laughs> it's mind blowing. You look through the viewfinder and obviously with an old school camera, you're actually looking through something. Whereas this, it's just digital. I mean, it was obviously. Mind blowing, look at that. You're looking into something. It's not even there. My brain is too small for this world. Can I just... There your memory card slots, look. See a little spring thing there, look. I love that mechanism. Push in, push to release. Love it. Little joystick. And obviously this is the upgraded eight-way joystick of the S5 Mark II. Same with this D-pad as well. Oh, that. Ooh, look at that, they're just buttons. So that just spin, I mean, I'm not even gonna try and explain it. Look at that. That's the flippy screen mechanism right there. Unbelievable. Just a little ribbon. Really want to open the front bit. Can you tell? Here we go, this could be it. Here we are. Whoa! It's layers and layers, it's like a toasty. with this video was to try and be quite educational and show you some of the parts but there's that much going on here I haven't got a clue got a number on it there look 404 I wonder what that means Four. look there's the battery compartment look at all that behind this bit is the image sensor and I can already see it. I can see the stabilization moving around. That's cool. I just want to be really careful with this. Don't know why. At this point, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's going well, it's going well. Sometimes you just need to move something out of the way and then it reveals another screw and then you're in business. We have the image sensor, which is encased in the IBIS system. It's in its own little gimbal to keep it steady. See it moving around? The shutter is tiny little. I think it's broke. I can't even undo it, even if I wanted to. I can. I'm gonna do it. Ooh. Okay. So it has got a little layer of protection on it. Come on, here we go. There's the back of the sensor. I want to get that bit off, but... Are we going for it? It's going to make a mess. Here goes. Shouldn't have done that. Do you think they'll accept returns? <laughs> The back of the LCD monitor. Really handy this little tool actually in the end. That, that thing, touch screen. It's just a mirror. It's a mirror. I don't know. My mind is blown. I'm left with nothing to say. Look, it's just little layers of stuff. Oh, what does it even mean? Another mirror. Well done, Lumix. There's so much technology that goes into making these cameras, but I just always thought it was a lot simpler inside and taking it apart has made me realize how many different elements there are inside and it, it makes you appreciate, you know, the ingenuity and the technology and the design just even more. I haven't even, I've not even opened this bit. I just keep coming across new bits that I can open up, but even the mechanical elements, they're all attached to electronic elements. Look at how thin those ribbons are. And all of that is sending data through these chipboards. I'll never understand it. What is a chip? What is it? Right, well, 74 screws later and a lot of mess. This is what's inside the Lumix S5 Mark II. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, don't, 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 definitely don't do it at home. It's a waste of time. 
If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see what the actual camera can do and the image that it can produce with this sensor, then definitely check out this video because that's the, the, the smart review video. If you want to watch it, there it is. <laughs>